Bon. On va essayer de parler. You said that Emmett fits your bill of requirements for a man. Yes. What would that list be exactly? You'd make a good reporter, Mr. Crockett. You know that? Well, his physical appearance for one thing. Emmett may not be Clark Gable, but he cleans up surprisingly well. I gave him my grandfather's white suit to wear at the expo. Oh, you should see him in it. He looks positively radiant. Looks good in a suit. Got it. And he's completely devoted to me. That's important. I've got no time or tolerance for playboys. Faithful as a Labrador. Check. Thirdly, and most important... Yes? Well, his mind, of course. It's brilliant, and it's virtuous through and through. His own mind map shows him to be a model citizen. Good brain, I see. And if it turned out that you were mistaken about any of these qualities... Say, what's your game? Just curious, just trying to understand the female mind. Well, understand this. I'm not some faint-hearted girl who'd run away at the first hint of trouble. I've made a big investment in Emmett. Not money, but I've sunk all my ambitions into him. I'd have to be thoroughly disillusioned before I'd call it quits with Emmett. Got it? Uh-huh. Now, Mr. Cub Reporter, is there anything else? Emmett est un aimant à fille. Rather hard for me to picture Emmett as a chick magnet. Chick magnet? A guy who gets the girls, you know, motors running. Motors? Who makes them, y you know. You mean a chic? Yeah. Well, it's a matter of taste, I suppose, but when he's properly pomaded and decked out in my grandfather's white suit, Emmett just glows. Makes my heart flutter a bit just to picture him. You say you know Emmett as a model citizen, but you don't know him as well as I do. Did you know he once cheated some Libyans out of plutonium? Plutonium? What would Libyans want with plutonium? I'm sure he had a very good reason. Emmett's mind map demonstrates conclusively his brain is oriented toward virtue. Il a volé un train. This one time, to power one of his science experiments, Emmett hijacked a train. Please, there hasn't been a train hijacking in Hill Valley since the days of Mad Dog Tannen. Justement. <laughs> Petite référence au troisième film où Doc vole, vole un train avec Marty. Mon principal adjoint le déteste. Emmett's done a lot of shady things in this time. My vice principal warned me to stay away from him. Your vice principal sounds like a dolt. Alors que c'est son frère. Mais c'est dans le futur. Enfin, dans le futur par rapport à cette époque-là. C'est <coughs> une bonne chose qu'Emmett se pose. So you say Emmett only has eyes for you? Absolutely. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. Well, it's good to hear he's finally settling down. Yes. <laughs> settling down? You know, ready to stop playing the field, as it were. Playing the... Oh, you're joking! Emmett est un bourreau des coeurs. But I can't help feeling sorry for him. Who? All of Emmett's other girls, now that he's with you. Please, I think I know Emmett by now. There are no other girls. Il a un petit livre noir. I wonder what's gonna happen to Emmett's little black book. Little black book? Oh, it's legendary. That's what enabled Emmett to become the, uh, Valentino of Hill Valley High. Gee, I wonder if he'd let me have it. You must think I'm pretty gullible, Mr. Crockett. C'est quoi un Lineo Spiritometre? Oui, parce que c'est vrai, on le sait toujours pas. Moi, je le sais, mais <laughs> j'avais complètement oublié. Enfin, pour moi, ça paraît c'est évident, mais j'ai complètement oublié que vous ne le saviez pas. Donc, on va poser la question. What the heck is this mental alignment meter of Emmett's? Oh, it's an absolutely revolutionary invention! Measures a person's affinities, what he's attracted to, what he's repulsed by, that sort of thing. Interesting. And it really works? Well, of course! What's the point of inventing something that doesn't work? Or, anyway, it works well enough for my purposes. Ouais, ce... Ça m... Ce truc-là marche euh, vraiment, mais il marche par rapport... Euh... Par rapport à la société idéale que la Miss Edna s'imagine dans sa tête. Donc forcément, euh, <rire> c'est pas forcément très... <rire> très efficace. Donc on quitte. That's all the questions I got. Very well then. Donc pour le moment, on peut pas faire grand chose. Hein. Ah, Trixie, ça faisait longtemps. Hey, Audi, you seen my Orioli? <rire> you mean this? Yeah, thanks. 
She gets to come and go freely, and I'm forced to wait. I love it. Donc là, si je veux parler à Arthur McFly, c'est même pas hey, la Hey, Officer! Officer? Oh, right. Don't blow your cover. Will you please keep your mind on the task at hand? Can't talk right now. Voilà, malheureusement, pour le moment, c'est impossible de parler avec, euh, avec Arthur parce que... Euh, Edna, euh, c'est une chieuse, voilà. Bon, on va parler au mec, là. Et c'est pareil, hey, c'est un excuse chieur. Excuse me. Yeah When does the expo Not open? Not tonight. Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds. <laughs> you got official business here? Yeah. Well, stay out of the way of the workers. You look familiar. Do I know you? Uh, nope. Ouais, c'est le mec euh, qui croit qu'on a dragué sa copine Eunice dans le bar clandestin. Et d'ailleurs, je soupçonne ce mec, enfin, il a un peu la même voix, je soupçonne ce mec d'être euh, le grand-père euh, du mec qui était accro à la caféine euh, en 1986. Parce qu'il a la même voix et ça me... il est très désagréable aussi, donc ce serait pas étonnant. Euh, ça, on en aura besoin. C'est pas aussi nice as mon truck back in 86. Jeez. I hope I still have a truck back in 86. Euh, ouais. J'allais dire on en aura besoin, mais non. Je raconte de la merde. Trixie. Parlons à Trixie. <coughs> to all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. Oh. To all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. To all who... Oh, hiya, kid. Say, aren't you the fellow who... Got you to turn on Kid Tannen? You bet. You look younger without your mustache. That was a dirty trick, you know, making me think Kid had gone and iced Artie. I'm sorry, but it was the only way I could... Ah, uh, forget about it. I'm trying to. Yesterday's in the past. That's my motto. You gotta live for today. Right. So what are you doing down here anyway? Do you wish to pull the levers that control the future? Ah. Uh. At the expo, silly. Technology for a better tomorrow, and all that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually why I'm here. Que faites-vous? So, who are you supposed to be? Don't you know your Homer? I am Techni Muse of Progress. You can tell by the lightning bolts. Must have slept through that class. I'm supposed to be a goddess like. I'm the one who inspires all the great men who make the discoveries. And women, too. Leave us not forget Madame Curie. I never would. So you work for the Expo? Yeah, ain't it a kick? I greet all the important guests. And on the final day, I get to bestow the golden sundial on the winning contestant. Et là, euh, bon, bah, pour taper dans le, dans le lard directement, aidez-moi à rendre Edna jalouse. Listen, I've got a proposal for you. I have this friend, right? No dice. I'm only seeing Audie now. It's not like that. See, my friend's in a relationship with Edna Strickland. Oh, poor schmuck. I wouldn't wish her on anyone. Then you see where I'm coming from. He won't listen to reason, but I thought she might call it off if she thought he and you were, you know. Ah, you are an evil imp, ain't ya? Sometimes a guy's got to resort to underhanded tricks. What do you say? Sorry. Ah. Oh. Edna might be a pill, but if I play dirty tricks on every dame who disapproves of me, well, well, I'd, I'd play a lot of dirty tricks. Besides, such stunts are beneath the dignity of Techni Muse of Progress. Non, on peut pas, euh, on peut pas la convaincre comme ça. Enfin, il faudrait que Edna ait fait une crasse à Trixie pour que Trixie soit motivée à foutre la vie en l'air d'Edna. Donc là, pour le moment, il n'en est pas question. Arthur travaille ici. So, Artie's working for the expo too, huh? Oh, Artie's doing swell. The papers made a big deal of him testifying against Kid. People have been beating down his door ever since the trial. The expo's darn lucky they could get him. Hmm. Comment va Kid? How's Kid's trial going? Slowly. You know what they say. 
The wheels of justice grind slowly, but infinitely fine. Except in Hill Valley, where they don't move at all. What? Nothing, it's just, you know, something I heard once. So no regrets about turning them in? None at all. I should have known better than to take up with them in the first place. But what can I say? I was dumb. I let myself get taken in by his charm. Charm? Yeah, I'm cute. See you, Trixie. From this chamber of wonders, we bid you a fond adieu. No. Euh... Non, il est toujours pas arrivé. Bon bah, maintenant, ce qu'on va faire, c'est qu'on va aller parler à Doc histoire de de faire avancer la trame et de lui faire un petit rapport, surtout euh, sur la situation. Ah, good. You're back. Give me the full report. She says she likes you because you've got a virtuous mind, you look good in a suit, and you're completely faithful to her. Damn, she's got me dead to rights. Well, you'll just have to find a way to change her mind. I'll be here if you need any help. Do you need any help? Have you figured out what's wrong with the time circuits? Not sure. Possibly. It seems to me to be a simple wiring issue, but I'm double checking to make sure. All the basic equipment appears to be functional. Um, any chance I could borrow the DeLorean? I want to drop in on Young Yu at the lab. Well, I don't know. The time circuits... Listen, I promise, I won't take it to 88. Even so, I'm worried about letting it out of my sight while it's still behaving unpredictably. Tell you what, I'll take it on a test drive one minute into the past. If it passes the test, I'll let you borrow it. Work. Didn't it? I'm afraid not. In fact, the discrepancy appears to be getting worse. I arrived six hours ago. Oh, too bad. I didn't want to risk undoing any of the work you've done thus far, so I kept out of sight. But the time lag wasn't entirely a waste. I stopped by the hardware store and bought the parts for a chronometric analyzer. A what? A diagnostic device. See, I plug it into the time circuits and set them to cycle. When the green light goes off, I should have the data I'll need to understand the scope of the problem. Hey, no driving the exhibits off the lot! Looks like you'll have to find another set of wheels if you want to get to the lab. Je vous remercie d'avoir regardé cette vidéo, et à bientôt pour la suite du walkthrough de Retour vers le futur.